We will continue with number types in this presentation. Sixth type is irrational numbers. Irrational numbers are the numbers which when expressed in decimal form are neither terminating nor repeating decimals. So these are the numbers which when expressed in decimal form are neither terminating or repeating decimals for example if we take 4 by 2 then 4 by 2 is equal to 2.0 so this is the terminating decimal so it is not an irrational number but if we talk about the number pi then pi is 3.14 and so on this is neither terminating nor repeating let's take one example of repeating decimal 10 divided by 3 is equal to 3.333 and so on so we have repeating decimal that's why 10 divided by 3 is not an irrational number but it is rational number so in case of irrational numbers we have the numbers which are neither terminating nor repeating this is the case of termination and this is the case of repetition but pi which is equal to 3.14 and so on is neither terminating nor repeating that's why this is irrational number and these two are rational numbers some more example of irrational numbers are root 3 and remember one thing we say pi equals to 22 by 7 but 22 by 7 is rational and pi is irrational 22 by 7 is rational because this is the approximation for pi pi is not exactly equal to 22 by 7 that's why it is rational whereas pi is irrational now we will move to the seventh type the real numbers real numbers are rational and irrational numbers combined together so rational and irrational numbers combined together are called as real numbers for example 10 by 3 is rational number root 3 is irrational number pi is irrational number so all these three are real numbers right now we will move to eighth type complex numbers complex number is represented in the form of a plus ib it is represented in the form of a plus ib where a is the real part this is the real part and uh, ib is the imaginary part imaginary part and uh, if you talk about a and b then both a and b are real numbers right some examples of complex numbers are 2 plus 3i, 3i, 2i are the examples of complex numbers and this i we call as iota and iota is equal to under root minus 1 and if we square both the sides we will have iota square equals to minus 1. Ninth type is prime numbers. Prime number is a number greater than 1 so first condition in prime number is it is greater than 1 and second condition is it is divisible by 1 and itself only and not divisible by any other number it is divisible by 1 and itself only so these are the two conditions and if a number satisfies these two conditions it is a prime number it should be greater than 1 and it must be divisible by 1 and itself only let's see some examples 2 is a prime number because 2 is divisible by 1 and it is greater than 1 and it is only divisible by 2 3 is also a prime number 5 is a prime number 7 11 13 now there is one point that you must know 2 is the only prime number this is the only prime number which is even 
rest all are odd prime numbers so 2 is the only prime number which is even rest all are odd so this is all that you should know about prime numbers now we will move to the next type the tenth type composite numbers composite numbers are the numbers which are greater than one and are not prime so very simple these are the numbers greater than one and they are not prime some examples are 4 6 9 15 all are composite numbers because they are not prime if we talk about 4 then 4 can be factorized as 1 2 4 so 4 is divisible by 1 it is divisible by itself but it is also divisible by 2 so it is not a prime number hence it is composite number in the same way you can check for 15 factors of 15 are 1 3 5 and 15 it is divisible by 1, it is divisible by itself, but it is also divisible by 3 and 5. Thus, it is not a prime number, hence it is composite number. The last type of number that we have to study is co-prime numbers. Two numbers are said to be co-prime if their HCF is 1. Let me write this down. Two numbers are said to be co-prime if their HCF, HCF is the abbreviation for highest common factor, if their HCF is 1. We will try to understand this by the help of one example. 2 and 3 are co-prime numbers because the factors of 2 are 1 and 2, factors of 3 are 1 and 3 now we have to find out highest common factor so the first thing that we have to find out is common factor and you can clearly see common factor is 1 and there is only one common factor making it highest common factor so highest common factor of 2 and 3 is equal to 1 thus it is co prime number let's take another example and uh, in this example we have 4 5 factors of 4 are 1 2 4 and factors of 5 are 1 and 5 again we have to follow the same steps we have to find out the common factors 1 is the only common factor hence 1 is the greatest common factor so 4 and 5 are co prime numbers now let's see one example of number which is not co prime 4 16 these two are co-prime and now we will see one example which is not co-prime 4 is having factor 1 2 4 that we have already seen and 16 is having factors 1 2 4 8 and 16 now we'll try to find out the common factors the first common factor is 1 okay the second common factor is 2 and the third common factor is 4 so we have three common factors and out of this three out of 1 2 and 4 definitely 4 is highest so HCF of 4 and 16 is 4 and this is definitely not equal to 1 so 4 and 16 are not co prime not co prime and this is all for this presentation. If you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. From the next presentation, we will start test of divisibility. Test of divisibility. It is very important presentation. So see you in the next one.